Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in my driveway. I am going to Rogers. We've had freezing rain over the past couple of days that I never got off my car. So I'm waiting for my car to warm up so I can put my defroster on so I can melt some of the ice. I don't think... Oh, no, my wipers won't even move right now. So instead of uh, getting out and scraping, I'm just going to let it warm up a little bit. And I thought I would chat with you for a minute while that's happening. I considered a sweatshirt, but I have static. And here's another thing I'm doing. I am running to Walgreens before Rogers to return this piece of shit static spray. I bought this before my trip because I can't stand static. First time I use it, the thing would just not stop spraying. Even if I took the piton off. I don't know if you call that a piton, but I do. And uh, it emptied half the can and made me choke. <laughs> and now it doesn't work at all. And it makes me mad because I bought it at Walgreens only because I was too lazy to go to Walmart that day. And I paid over $5 for this can and it never worked for me. So I was like, oh, I'd put my sweatshirt on, but I don't even like a little, little tiny, tiny bit of static. Do not like, not at all. Makes me very tense. Makes me want to walk around like this. <laughs> I said, ha ha. I shall grab the can and go to Walgreens and see if they'll take it back. Swap it out. I don't know. I don't care. And then I'm going to go to Rogers to see if they have any haddock. Although I'm not really in the haddock mood for right now. But I never know what I'm going to be in the mood for. I have to wait till I'm hungry. I'm like never in the mood for anything until I'm hungry. And then I want meat of some kind. I know I always have to have beef in my refrigerator because that is my staple. But I thought I would get some haddock in case I'm in the mood for that. I can always freeze it and it'll be ready for me when I need it. Okay, let me tell you a little something. When I went to Memphis, I didn't buy cream for my coffee. Didn't even have coffee. I was too lazy, out of my element. So I didn't bother with coffee, didn't bother with cream. But we had milk and I started drinking a little bit of milk. You know, milk is an animal product and we can have that on a zero carb way of life. But many say it causes issues. For some, it causes cravings. For others, bloating. Just all kinds of things. And I noticed that when I was drinking some milk there in Memphis, I was not feeling good. One thing I don't talk about much because it's all I seem to talk about in my regular life is that I suffer what I call hangovers, even though I'm not drinking. I know what a hangover feels like. I've had uh, many of them for good reason. But when I quit drinking, I still had hangovers way back then. Everybody used to say, yeah, your body has to adjust. It'll get used to it. It never did. I get hangovers like my whole head is about to explode. I get all congested. I'm very disoriented and feel almost like like I'm floating or that the ground is moving under me like vertigo, but for no good reason to have vertigo. I don't know how to describe it. I have anxiety. I mean, it's just terrible, but I've done everything I could over the years, seen many, many doctors, tried many different medications, everything. And all the doctors could ever say is that it's your sleep apnea. You're not sleeping good. But even when I had the CPAP machine and was using it the right way before I got fed up with cleaning that piece of shit, I would still feel like crap. So I've tried over and over again to go back to that and it just doesn't work. When I was sick in Memphis, I had one day that I was really bad off and I thought, yes, I'm traveling. So I am stressed. I'm out of my element. Everything is, you know, just different. So I'm bound to not feel well, but I wasn't depressed. And I thought, this doesn't feel like, you know, regular stress. It feels like I'm sick. So I blamed it on the milk. And because I'm a sucker for punishment, I continued to drink some milk while I was there. And then when I got home, I said, you know what? I'm just going to start drinking some milk. And I don't care if it makes me sick. Because that's just the way I am. I'm dumb. So, <laughs> so I started putting milk in my coffee instead of cream because it's cheaper. And then at night, instead of having a gulp of cream, I would guzzle some milk, which I was drinking way more milk than I did cream. And I also had a couple slices of cheese here and there. And I can tell if I eat a plate of meat, 
I don't care how full I am. I don't have a bloated feeling. I can add one stinking slice of American cheese on there and I start to feel like a bloat. And I don't like that feeling. So I have determined that I'm going to try and test to see how I will do with zero dairy. None. I am going to be eating for one week solid. Just meat. Just water. No eggs, no butter, no dairy, no nothing. Meat and water. <sighs> and you know what? That doesn't sound like any kind of a punishment to me. It's almost even more freeing. Just a few more things that I don't have to buy. So it's all good. A lot of the people who have been eating this way over time, they all seem to say that they just keep cutting back to less and less and less. Seriously, meat, especially red meat, gives you everything that you need. It doesn't give you fiber, but guess what? You don't need fiber if you're not eating vegetables or plant life. You don't. You don't need vitamin C if you're not eating vegetables or plant life. You don't. There's just so many things that you don't need. The reason we need so many nutrients is to take care of all the garbage that we put in our bodies. I'm not saying vegetables are garbage. They are for me. But for many, hey, they do great on vegetables. That's awesome. You're built for that. I'm not. I'm a meathead. I have always been. So this is what works for me. And when I was low carb and eating just meat and low carb vegetables, I never felt this good. Never. I was glad the cravings were gone, but I didn't feel this good. So I want to see if meat and water will make me feel even better. And if it does, then I'm sold. That's what I'll be eating. All right. Oh, let's see if there's any warmth yet. I'll be so glad when spring is here. I'll be glad for like a minute. <laughs> then summer comes. Please, I want to get to the store. All right, I have to go outside and scrape. I'm just going to go to the store, try to return that at Walgreens. I'll chat with you in Roger's parking lot afterwards. I got lucky at Walgreens. They just said, did you use your rewards card? And I was like, yes, sir, I did. And they went, doot, 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 doot. And he said, you have a refund. And he gave me the money back. Five dollars and a nickel. I kind of just wanted to swap cans, but now I'll take the money because I don't trust that another one would work any better. So I'll just get the cheapy stuff at Walmart next time I'm there. Then I came here to Rogers and I went in and there was no haddock. And that's really all I was coming for. I did look at the meat to see if there was anything on sale, but they did have some sirloin roasts, were, and those were good, but I just took a roast out of the freezer last night, and I think I might still have another one in the freezer. So I skipped it, but I didn't want to leave empty-handed, because I like to give them a little bit of business every time I walk through the door. So, and they didn't have bacon ends, I would have picked some up just because. Um, I just got my mother some of this fake crab meat stuff easy lunch for her, make herself a sandwich. And then I just got her two more snowballs. These are chocolate cakes filled with cream and covered with marshmallow and coconut. I do believe it's coconut. I don't know. I don't know what I believe. Now I'm just going home and I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just kick back tonight and just rest. I don't know. I have so many things that I want to do and I just feel like I don't get them done and I feel bad. But I will be doing, hopefully this week sometime, we're already at Wednesday, so I better get my butt in gear. I want to show you my drawings from 20 years ago. <laughs> I did indeed get the portfolio out from the cellar. I took one look inside and happened to see one drawing of a nude woman. I was like, all right, I didn't imagine this. That really happened. And I put it on a bed and I left it there. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is look at it for the first time with you guys on camera. So I know there's quite a bit in there, so I'll just pull things out and we're going to dig through till we can find the nude men drawings. I really have no clue how detailed I got with that. I probably skipped that whole part of his body every time. I don't know. It's just, uh, in the way, so unnecessary. I know it's art. Oh, so artsy-fartsy. But it's just dumb to have to draw something that ridiculous looking <laughs> and try to do it justice. <laughs> but it was a fun class.
Okay, I really have nothing to say at all. I'm just in La La Land. I'm gonna go home and upload what I can of this and rest. I think I'm going to rest. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching.